I want to show you something. It's of course the Cova of Marca. You know Marca, obviously, a uh, Madrid-based newspaper. Mm. Being in the Cova, it's a success. But praise can weaken you as well. You're very aware of that. Do you mm. prefer not to hear when people tell you good things? Or? No, for me, it's, it's, okay. it's okay to hear it. Uh, that's how it's been from, from, from <laughs> when I started to play, uh, when I was 15 in Norway. It was a lot of attention. It was too much attention, too, too positive. And then in Madrid, there was a lot of negative uh, attention, maybe too negative. So for me, it's been maybe too black and white. And for me, it's the same at the moment. We played six games, I think. And uh, so we've, we've done nothing yet. Of course, we had a good start, but yeah, when you play football, you cannot think about what everybody else is, is saying. One look up, Marino into Odegaard, controls with the right, takes the shot, and with the left, it deflects into the corner, and Real Sociedad are ahead. May have taken a slight deflection on the way in, and that will matter not to the young Norwegian. Do you like training? A lot, yeah. or a little? Nej, jag liker... Skulle jag ensföra? Ja, please. Nej, jag älskar att träna. And when you go on the pitch, mm. just before you go on the pitch, mm. you are in your own world or you like to enjoy with the teammates and make a joke or what is it like? Just before a game? Uh, nej, alltså... Jag liker att vara lite i min egen värld, särskilt för kamper. Men, men inte för ansträngd. Jag liker att vara avslappad och rolig. Mest möjligt avslappa, men men likar att vara fokuserad och och för mig själv. Generally, you play at least in two positions. No, but generally they put you. Uh, that's the goal. That's the box. Just in between the lines around here, is that right? Mm. Should we walk there? Mm. And uh, as we walk in there, tell us what your priorities at that point. När så utgångspunkten så så ligger jag lite högre och och ganska högt upp. Uh, så. So... Jag liker att komma mycket på ball, så någon gång är det en utfärdning och inte, inte söker ballen för mycket, men, men att ligga långt nog upp. Så, så rollen min är egentligen att ligga i mellanrummet eh, och vänta på, på att bli tredd upp. Men eh, hvis, hvis man blir stående där så syns jag det är svårt att komma på ball, så jag liker att, att komma mer i bevegelse in i rummen så, så man inte lukker rummet för man ska få ballen. Ja, det går. Porto. Oh, that's it, Tarn! What a hard angle! What a lucky detail, Jan Martin, who vekte the ball exactly right into Porto, so he får it with him in fart. So you you are right here, and what's important if if the if the goal is there is your positioning. As they come a little bit on the ball, but if the ball is there, so I like to stand so side vent the line here. So when I get the ball, I take it against the right, and so angle it right with one hand. Hvis ballen blir spilt ut der, så handler det ofte om å angripe rommet ned der, så det handler om hvor ballen er, og så, og så prøver jeg hele tiden å, å vende riktig vei i forhold til motspillere. That's why you constantly looking around and looking where everybody is. Have you calculated how often you just turned ahead? <laughs> nej, nej, jeg vet, jeg vet ikke hvor mye jeg gjør det, men, men jeg, jeg gjør det mye. Jeg liker å, å se mye rundt meg, korte små blikk. Eh, Så det er viktig, viktig å se nok på ballen nå. Eh, så jeg liker ikke å ha for lange blikk, men heller små, korte blikk. Og på dette punkt, når du receiver the ball, har du fått en, to, tre solutioner i ditt hodet? Nei, det kommer mye an på bevegelsen til forsvarerne. Og rett før jeg får ballen, det er der jeg pleier å ta en avgjørelse. Så Det, det kom på instinkt, rett og slett. I always feel that the best way to analyze how a player is, mentally, physically, if they're confident or not, is when they are in this position, and given the opportunity to to go, they just don't. Mm. You find yourself sometimes in that position? Ja, altså hvis man, hvis man mangler selvtillit, så er typisk at man bare spiller den tilbake. <laughs> mens, mens når man har selvtillit, så, så vender man opp og angriper. Så Så, så det selvtillit har mye å si, og når man har, føler at man er i flowen, at ting sitter, så, så tenker man ikke engang på om man skal vende opp, da, da skjer det bare automatisk. With the ball is more like a 4-1-4-1, again another guy, let's see. Beautiful nutmeg, and look at that pass! What a ball that was! Absolutely! 
only first class. A magnificent assist. The talent of Odegaard to put in that ball in between three players was unbelievable. Well, just 20 years of age, this Norwegian talent showcasing his magnificent skills there. And everybody's told me that you're a leader on the pitch, that you want the ball all the time. Have you learned when to ask for it and when not to ask for it? Yeah, det det är nog en syns kanske är vanskligt. Jag vill ha bollen hela tiden. Eh, men jag föll att ha ett steg på det i år och och avvänta mer. Ja, inte inte tränga att ta del i det uppbyggnad så mycket, bara ligga och vänta på bollen. Ska ligga mer uppe eller att spela här och så och vara lite mer tålmodig. And now that everything is going well, you just feel like you're floating on on the pitch that things are happening. You just be confidence gives you that, doesn't it? Mm. Ja, så sällt lite och och som måten vi spelar på med laget. Eh, när du spelar på ett gott lag så är det lättare att göra ting bra. Eh, när du vet att de bak där träda upp, när du vet att eh, att vi spelar åt bakfra så är så är det lätt att vara tålmodig. Att det bara är att vänta på att få bollen så ting kommer naturligt när man när man spelar på ett gott lag. Prender con un servicio rápido, Martin Adergat. La velocidad de Porto sigue Lem Lumor, es muy rápido también el africano. Porto frena, encuentra Martin Adergat por el gol 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 gol